Welcome to this e-learning course overview presented by Visible Systems Corporation. This video provides a preview of the material covered in the complete course. For additional information about this course, please click on the link below and you will be redirected to our website with more details about the course. You can also contact us at elearning at visible.com or visit our website at www.visible.com. My name is Joe Magid, and I'd like to welcome you to this session, Applied Structured Systems Analysis, part of the Software Engineering Methodology course. Having completed the requirements model, it is now finally time to turn to implementation considerations. And we do that using a variety of useful constructs to embellish the requirements model and thereby produce the systems implementation model. The first critical step towards producing the system implementation model is to determine the automation boundary. This needs to be done with the users and determine which functions and data will be automated and which will be manual. We also must determine how we, were, we will allocate processing across different processors both automated and manual. The types of decisions that we will make will include whether or not to use a thick or a thin client, in other words, a client server model versus a web model, what kind of database server is required, perhaps distributed, perhaps not, what logic would be on a web server, what logic might best be implemented as a web service? What categories of personnel would be required for the manual portions of the system? So we also need to determine what kind of software systems and perhaps a package would be used. And all of these decisions are integral to the automation boundary decision-making process.